splurging, understanding and using this expressive English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fun and commonly used phrase in English, splurging. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in everyday conversations. So, let's dive in. Splurging is a term often used to describe spending money freely or extravagantly, especially on things that are not necessary but are enjoyable. It's usually associated with a sense of indulgence or treating oneself. For example, if someone says, I splurged on a new phone, it means they spent a lot of money, perhaps more than necessary, on a new phone. The word, splurging, has interesting origins. It's believed to have come from the slang term, splurge, used in the early 19th century, meaning to show off or boast. Over time, its meaning evolved to relate more to spending money than to showing off. Let's look at how to use splurging in different sentences. 1. Positive sense. After receiving her bonus, she splurged on a luxury cruise. 2. Negative sense. He regretted splurging on expensive gadgets that he barely used. 3. Question form. Are you really splurging on a five-star hotel for your vacation? 4. Past tense. They splurged on a lavish wedding last year. Notice how the context of splurging can change from positive to negative based on the situation. Understanding synonyms can help broaden your vocabulary. Here are a few. Extravagant. Implies excessive or unnecessary spending. Indulge. Focuses more on allowing oneself to enjoy something. Squander. Has a negative connotation, implying wasteful spending. Splurging can also reflect cultural attitudes towards money and luxury. In some cultures, it's seen as a positive sign of success and prosperity, while in others, it might be viewed as irresponsible or frivolous. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, splurging, in English. Remember, language isn't just about words. It's also about the culture and context behind them. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to splurge a little on your English learning journey. See you in the next video.